Hello everyone, this is Matt Bergman and I want to share with you a quick way that you can use Google Classroom and Google Docs to give students timely feedback during the writing process. So this is a classroom that I set up in Google uh, Classroom and I'm going to go right here to the Classworks tab. Uh, I would create an assignment like you normally do. I did that right here in this example uh, called a sample writing assignment. Now I have a sample student account set up here and I'm just going to the Classwork tab and as you can see, I have this sample writing assignment. Now if I'm a student, I can go in and I can view this assignment. And now what I can do is I can actually create something, create a brand new document, or I can add an existing document. So let's say that I added an existing document for my Google Drive. And I created this sample writing assignment right here. And I'm gonna hit add. I'm going to attach it to this particular assignment. Now I'm not gonna do anything else as a student. So if this is my student account, I just simply add my document. I do not hit turn in, okay? So now what happens is I can go back and I'm gonna just start working on this as a student. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start writing my assignment and everything like that. Um, so I'm just gonna hit, there we go. Um, so I can go ahead and I can work on this. I can start typing. Now, from a teacher standpoint, I can go ahead and open up that sample writing assignment, and I can see that it has been assigned to a certain number of students, but it hasn't been turned in yet. So as a teacher, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to see my student, Abby Jo, right here, has their assignment. I'm going to click on that, and this is the actual document that they went through and they, submit, they didn't submit, but they attached. I'm gonna open it up, and now I can see that this is what they're writing. And I can see in real time what they're doing. So if I have a blended classroom, I have maybe writing stations, uh, I can go through and kind of see what they're doing. And I have some different options on how I can give feedback. Uh, for example, if I want to, by default, this is in suggestion mode. So if I go, here by default and I say delete this and I just hit delete it'll automatically put a cross uh, hairs through that and then it gives it a suggestion that student can then hit the check mark to delete it automatically or they can just uh, reject that particular suggestion so that's one thing I can do I can also if I'd like I can use the comment features so I can add comments right here um, I can also go right here to create a comic a comment bank uh, so, for example, if I wanted to put down, you know, check your spelling, okay, I can go ahead and do that. So I have a comment bank right here of different comments, and if I ever want to use them, uh, right now, the way that it's set up, I just go right here, I copy it to the clipboard, make my comments, here's my comment right here, and paste it, all right? And then that, that is my, um, how I can give feedback. So that's one way that you can do that. There's also, if I go back to this tab right here, the files tab, I can make private comments as well. I can give a grade. And so this is a really great way to give immediate feedback because now the student, what they're gonna do is they're gonna open up their assignment and they can see all of the changes that I asked them to make. And I can see where my teacher's at right now. Um, I, as a student, I can go ahead and accept. I can change the uh, the wording right here I can hit resolve and that'll go away uh, so that is how you could go through and have this student complete the assignment now let's say that the student has made all the changes they're ready to turn it in then what they can do is I'm just gonna close out of this tab they're gonna go back to their assignment in Google Classroom and they're gonna hit turn in okay so they're gonna hit turn in and then what happens for students is this turns into a view only document. So if I go right in here, it's view only once I've submitted it, okay? Uh, so if uh, a student actually made a mistake, uh, they didn't want to turn it in quite yet, they might have needed to make a change, they can hit unsubmit, but let's just say I'm done. So as a teacher, now what I can do is I can actually open this up and I have full editing rights uh, to this particular document. So I can make any changes I want. Uh, to this document, I can grade it, I can add, see right here, I can go to editing mode uh, and I can make changes in this particular document. When I'm finished, I can give students a grade, so I'll give them a grade and then I'm going to hit return and what will happen is this will notify the student of the grade and it will give them the ability to make changes. 
So now what I can do as a student, let me open up the student account right here. I'm just gonna hit refresh. It's been turned in. Now I can see that it has been graded. I got a 100 out of 100. I can open it up and now I can see what my teacher did, what my feedback my teacher did, and now it is editing only. So it's a great way of changing up the process where you're giving real-time feedback instead of giving students feedback and then they do nothing with it. They don't make any changes with it or any revisions. They just simply turn in a final draft. Uh, it helps you through the writing process, helps students understand what it takes to make a great writing piece.